going to take the schedule program that you finished for lesson four and you're going to add images to it. So in the end, it's going to look something like this. If I click on the period and it's a computer science, I can add a computer science picture. So I'm just going to be, you have these eight buttons and for each one, I'm going to add some kind of image. Now, you might notice that this looks a little bit different up here. This is an older version of Code Sculptor. It's Code Sculptor 2, and we've been using Code Sculptor 3. And we're going to use this older version just because images are working better. For whatever reason, I can't always explain it, but the images don't always work in Code Sculptor 3, and they do work in Code Sculptor 2. So your first task is to take your code from the newer version of Code Sculptor and put it into the old version of Code Sculptor. So this is what we're going to do. So first open up your lesson four assignment that you just finished, hopefully you finished it recently, and you've got your final URL. You're going to click on your URL so that your code comes up. So here's my completed code in the newer version. Everything should work. I've got all my colors, I've got all my classes. Now you're going to open up your lesson five. Here's your lesson five assignment. You should have already done the warm up. And here's a link to a template. So go ahead and click on the link. And you'll see the older version of Python is right here with the heading. So you're going to type your name. You're going to type the date. And there's a place that says paste code here. And I'm going to come over here to lesson four, which is in the new version of Code Sculptor. I'm going to start here at lesson six. I want to do my import. I'm going to highlight all my code all the way to the bottom. I'm going to do a copy. So you can do a control C or your right mouse click and copy. I'm going to come to my new template here for lesson five, where it says line six, paste code here. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to paste my code. So I've gone from the new to the old, lesson four, lesson five. Now, if I run this, everything should work just like it did before. It looks slightly different, but all your buttons should work. And um, you're going to be ready to go on to the next part where you're going to add images. Now, with that being said, this is a good time to save your code and to, um, put the URL into your document so you have this part ready to go. And you're also gonna come up here, highlight it, copy it, and then go back to my document. And here under part two, I have a place to save my, code, my URLs. And as I save frequently, I can keep adding to this until I get to my final one. Now you're ready for part two.